Today's tech tip is about common keyboard shortcuts that will turn out to be very helpful to you in the long run. This is for staff and for students. So keyboard shortcuts, tips and tricks. Uh, most of them use the control button over here in combination with any uh, the shift key and usually a letter or even the function key. Um, these Using these shortcuts can save you time, can even save up to 10 minutes a day and over the course of a year, could even save you up to a week's time if you use them a lot. Um, again, this is for staff and students. So you can print the linked list. Um, it's bit.ly tech tip 16. It is case sensitive. If you type this in, it'll come right up for you. Um, use one of these tips and add on as you're comfortable and please make sure to try it. And there's a reason why there's a whole bunch of T's here. So I'm going to click on the link and you'll just have to type it in. So time saving shortcuts and touchpad tips. So the first one that I'd like to show you is control find. Um, this is one that I use every day. So if I'm within the Google world here, the Googleverse, I can hit control find, control F, and it'll my little search bar will come up here and maybe I need to find, does it say anything about undo? Well, it occurs six times in this article and it highlights them. Maybe I'm looking for uh, control. Well, that shows up 19 times in the article. It also works on a web page. So if I'm on a web page here and I hit control find, and this is an article about reasons for secession. So maybe I want to look up uh, slavery and see if this article talks about slavery as a reason for secession. Six out of 10 times it shows up in this article and I can go down and, and find where it talks about it. Or maybe I wanna see where it talks about states. 17 times it mentions states, states rights usually. So that's how you can look things up on a web page or in a longer document, control find. The next shortcut is your undo shortcut. Uh, many of us use this now without even realizing and maybe I accidentally typed some letters here that I don't need. If I hit control Z, it undoes it. But wait, maybe I wanted it. This is a little known one. Control Y, think of yes, will bring it back. So control Z to undo, control Y, to redo. I'm going to undo that because I don't need it in that document. And then the next one is your zoom in and your zoom out. So on any page in Chrome here on your Chromebook or in your laptop, if you want to zoom out or in, you're going to hit control plus to make things bigger. So you're zooming in and hit control minus to bring things back smaller. I use that sometimes when I'm looking at like a page set up on a document to see how it fits the page. Uh, you can also, if it gets stuck, students like to go a little crazy with it. If you click on this right here, you can click reset and it'll take you back to 100%. Um, the next one is control shift T. If I'm presenting to my class and I accidentally close a tab and I want that tab back, but I haven't bookmarked it to just click on it, a really quick way is to hit control shift T and it reopens your last tab. What's really cool is you can hit it multiple times to open multiple tabs. So control shift T will open a whole bunch of tabs that I had had it opened. You can see all the work I've done today and my printing screens and everything. So let's go back here. That control shift T, that's why there were a whole bunch of T's on there can come in really handy in class management. Maybe you don't want to go turn on Go Guardian and view where students are, but you know you have a student that has very quickly closed out on some tabs. If you need to have a discussion with the student and you really want to see where they were, just get your hands on their Chromebook keyboard, hit Control Shift T, and it'll open up the last tab that they had open and allow you to have that conversation quickly without a lot of steps. Now this is one I've used many times in the last couple days. I just learned it. Um, a lot of times we want to get a link to send to students and we have to go up to the top, highlight it, right click, select copy. What you can do is hit control L and it immediately highlights the link of any page you're on. Then you can use the shortcut of control C to copy it and then go into Google Classroom or wherever you want that you need the link and you can control V to paste it. 
So that's a combination there of control L to highlight and then using control copy and paste, which many of us know already. A couple touchpad shortcuts to review. With our switch over to laptop, sometimes it's a challenge to use the touchpad. With our switch over to laptop, sometimes it's a challenge to use the touchpad. And for students on the Chromebooks, though, they're very good at it. Um, two fingers on the touchpad will allow you to scroll up and down. If you touch your touchpad with both fingers, you can scroll up and down a page, which eliminates you having to come over to the side, select it, hold it down, and slide your other finger up and down. Just two fingers up and down will work. There's a two finger tap, which will, that I did one tap to select, and then I'm going to do two fingers tapping at the same time will give me my right click menu. Now the laptops, we do have a right click button, which helps, but the Chromebooks don't have that button. For links, you usually do one finger tap to select, two finger taps should open it. In a Google Doc, when you select it, you might have to scroll down to hit the link but anything else that's like a hyperlink, one click will select it, two quick clicks will open it. Taps of the finger. Um, in text, one finger tap will select, will place your cursor, two finger taps, that's one finger tap twice, will select the word, one finger tapped three times, selects the sentence or paragraph. So these are just some quick shortcuts that you could use. Uh, there's a list at the bottom that you can cut out and tape to the bottom of your monitor. Try one, use these shortcuts, and please teach them to your students as well. Have a great day.